killed by a wrong-way driver. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson joins us now live from the accident seen along State Road 50 near Ridge Manor. Jeff? Yeah, good evening, Jen and Josh. Family and friends started gathering here a short time ago to put out balloons and flowers for 23-year-old Laura Billingsley, who lost her life in a head-on crash here around 1 a.m. In the early morning hours on State Road 50, car parts littered the road. Sarah Huff was driving here on her way to her mother's house when she saw a car come up rapidly behind her. That car gets into the other lane of traffic, and at that point, it's pretty much parallel to me um, and hits that car head on. Um, and in my rear view, I can see the car is like flipping. The Florida Highway Patrol tells us 37 year old Tony Worthen was driving the wrong way on State Road 50 and ran a Hernando County Sheriff's deputy and a pickup truck off the road, narrowly missing a collision with them. Sarah Huff told me she saw the deputy following Worthen. I witnessed him basically get out of the westbound lane and head right into the eastbound lane um, and hit that car head on. In the other car, 23-year-old Laura Billingsley was hit head on. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Today, family and friends gathered to remember the young woman with a big smile. Sarah Huff told me the crash was over in an instant. It was so fast, and I, I was scared for myself, too, because I was... Honestly, probably within feet of being involved in that accident as well. Um, I knew they had hit pretty bad, and um, I was just praying they were okay. Huff showed me where parts of the colliding cars hit her car. In the back of my car, it looked like an action movie. I had my dog in the back seat, and he was uh, barking and, and yelling, and it was, it was traumatizing. It was awful. Yeah, I can imagine. The Florida Highway Patrol is now investigating this crash to find out if drugs or alcohol were involved in any way. Jen, Josh. Jeff Patterson live in Hernando County tonight. Thanks, Jeff.